What exactly is your problem with medications? I get this question all the time and other questions around my stance that it is possible to heal completely and it is possible to get off your medications. So I do have haters from time to time that pop up and they and they like, what's your problem? Don't you know that I need them? Don't you know that some people can't live without medications? Yes, I know these things. I am not by any means shaming you for your choice to have medications. If you are happy living your life, using medications, then by all means, go ahead and do that. But many of our clients are so frustrated. They're just like I was. They hate their medications. They're experiencing all kinds of side effects. Also, every time they go into the doctor, they feel like they're being offered another medication when the first one really didn't do what they needed. And doctors are always like, oh, this will make it better, this will make it better, but often it doesn't make it better or it brings on another problem. So I am here for you if you are tired of your medication or maybe you find yourself in a different camp. Maybe you're in a place where things have gotten bad enough that you don't know what to do and you're starting to consider medication even though you've never wanted to go down that road in the first place. And so either category you find yourself in, I am here to help you. Again, if you are happy on your medications, then God bless you. I hope that works out well for you. For everybody else, stick around because I'm going to talk about how to get off your medications safely. <laughs> safely is very important because we all know folks that have gotten off their medication and it didn't go so well. And so there is a process to this. This is not a video to advocate just cold turkey getting off your medications. No way, no how. That would be unsafe. So if you're on psych medications, there is a certain way to do this. But let's let's talk some honest truth about what's going on with medications. A lot of people don't want to talk about this. A lot of people are afraid to, to handle this topic. And so I'm going to go for it. And yes, I know there's going to be some haters because, again, there is medication loving folks out there. And that's wonderful. Again, God bless you. So the thing about medications is really that it is designed to try to alter your brain chemistry so that you can function better. That's the whole idea, right? And as you know, what happens oftentimes is that there's a whole list of side effects that come from taking that medication. Now, sometimes the effects can help as far as managing but the fact alone that you're on medications means the problem isn't gone. So for example, let's take a antidepressant. If you're dealing with depression and you take an antidepressant and that sadness begins to lift, are you actually healed or have you actually overcome depression? Well, no, if you're on the medication, it's the medication that's helping you with that. You haven't actually healed. And so the People that reach out to me, they're looking for healing. They're looking to be able to completely overcome. They're looking to live their life without medication. Then one of the biggest motivating factors for those who reach out to us is because they are frustrated by the side effects. They're frustrated just like I was with dealing with a long list of problems that came out of that taking the medication in the first place. Like, let me just list some of the side effects, uh, some of the side effects that come from medication. Blurred vision, nausea, vomiting, trouble sleeping. This one always baffles me. So one of the biggest problems that those dealing with this problem have is insomnia, not being able to sleep well. And then one of the side effects is not sleeping well. Like the math, it just doesn't make any sense. This is one thing that we really work on with our clients is helping them sleep well at night because it's critical to healing the brain chemistry and allowing everything to come into balance so you no longer need medications. And again, you give a medication that, that causes trouble sleeping, oh, how are you ever going to get out of the cycle? And, and that, I don't wanna jump ahead, but the thing about introducing medication is it actually prolongs the cycle. The data is very clear on this. So that's something interesting. We'll talk about that in a moment. But let's come back to other symptoms that you may be experiencing from these medications. Anx more anxiety. <laughs> Again, taking a medication for anxiety and then you might write it with more anxiety. Drowsiness. Uh, I hear so many people feel like um, they're lethargic or or they're numbed to life. They, they feel like... Um, like they're no longer in touch with any emotion. Uh, other folks notice brain fog, that they can't think clearly anymore. Many, many of our clients report that they're experiencing weight gain. I definitely was in that category where these, one of the huge 
uh, effects, <laughs> Forg <laughs> forgive the, uh, the pun there, but one of the huge side effects I had from medication was getting very large. It caused a lot of excessive weight gain for me. Also, uh, another one of our side effects is, is sexual problems. So sexual dysfunction is a thing and on and on and on. Uh, honestly, any medication, if you've ever taken the time to, when you get that little bag from the CVS pharmacy and you take a look at the side effects, there's all kinds of things in there, including usually things like uh, growing a sixth toe. You know, okay, I'm exaggerating, but it's appalling actually all the side effects that come from medication. But I understand you're suffering. You need to know what to do. And so we're going to talk about what to do to heal in a moment. But first, let's really dive in and be honest about this conversation around medication. So there's so much research now around medications. And so there's these bodies of work showing that adding, introducing a psych medication actually will prolong your struggle. It takes a struggle that may have been short, you may, you may have been able to bounce back on your own, but now it stretches it out and stretches it out and stretches it out. And even if you don't go there, I've never seen anybody just kind of spontaneously get better. It, doesn't, it just doesn't work that way. If you just wait it out, it's not going to, going to go away. It might go away temporarily, but it will not stay away. It will come back and get you again. That's just the nature of dealing with these kinds of mental health concerns. So you might wonder with data like that, with studies showing that it's just going to prolong the cycle, why are doctors presenting this? Why, why are doctors saying, hey, take your medication, take your medication? Well, the thing is, Many doctors do know that a holistic approach can help you to, quote, live a very normal life, that they've seen the, again, data on this, that a holistic approach is allowing people to, to turn the corner to change things. And in case you haven't clued in already, at Achieve Emotional Mastery, we use a holistic approach. The reason we have such amazing success, why I had success and why our clients have success, is we heal emotionally, physically, and spiritually in order for all of our clients to, again, experience freedom to overcome this thing completely. And many doctors understand that, again, this is what data is supporting is with a holistic approach that something different is possible. But the truth is they don't know exactly what that means or how to show you what to do to get that kind of success for yourself. They also certainly don't have time. Like think about a doctor walking you through what kind of changes you need to make. They just don't have that kind of time. But here's the other thing, they don't really believe you'll follow through on it. And so there's a lot of pieces in there that doctors are kind of, they're tied, their hands are often tied. They don't know what to do other than to do what they've always done, which is prescribe another medication. So the interesting thing about medications is that it only alters your brain chemistry temporarily. Now, some folks have a little bit of success with their medications. It gives them just enough success to function or, or to um, be able to take the next step. But for, it, for no one does it actually solve the problem. It doesn't help you overcome. It just gives you something else. It, that's all it is. It, it creates another entrapment. In the medical community, it's understood that medications have side effects. Sometimes they don't want to talk about it or be open about what's going to happen if you get on these medications, but it is understood that psych medications have some of the worst side effects. And so you know what the medication, the pharmaceutical companies did? They invented another medication that helps reduce these side effects. It's like, man, that's like, how many medications do you really want to take? And many of our clients come to us just so frustrated because they're on many, 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 many medications. And again, like I spoke about earlier, it perpetuates the cycle. I had one of our graduates who said to us, let me read you the quote. She said, I get angry with myself for having said yes to the medication in the first place. She says, but then I rectify it in my mind by thinking, well, at the time I started, I needed it to function. So that's where she was at. And that's where many of our clients are at. They just do the traditional things to function better. And, and that's okay. But then they get to a place where they're ready to overcome. And so this client, she continued on with us. She did the process. She overcame completely. And then began to get off her medications. And she says, my life then isn't my life now. Now I'm strong enough to not need the medication anymore. And we hear that over and over again from our graduates uh, and our clients as they're going through the process. I mean, like this is one of our most favorite celebrations is like my doctor said, I can, I can 
taper off. I can, I can wean down again and again and again to the place where they're getting off medications. And then they start reporting to us, I've been off three months, I've been off four months and on and on. And so then they begin to live their life without medication. It's beautiful. It's exactly what I did. And it is possible for you too, again, with our proven strategy. I want to make sure you understand that, again, I'm not saying go off your medication cold turkey, no way, no how. There is a proper way to do this and there is a wrong way to do this, okay? The wrong way is just to go cold turkey and be like, hey, I see this lady on the video, she's living on medication, I'm gonna do that too. No, uh uh-uh, I healed first. And all of our clients, they heal first and then they have their doctor oversee the weaning off process to make sure they do it safely. Okay, there is a safe way to do it and it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight, but there is a strategy that you can use to be able to do this for yourself if you're interested. If you are dealing with frustrations around medication, if you're tired of being on them, you're seeing the side effects, if you're functioning well and you're at a place where now it's time to level up, now it's time to heal completely, then I wanna make sure that you go and you watch our masterclass. Because in our masterclass, I, I break this down piece by piece by piece of what is possible to be able to heal completely so you can get off your medications. It's the same shifts, the same five shifts that I use to heal completely and the same five shifts that you're going to need in order to heal completely. And so again, I'll walk you through that, but more than anything, I want you to hear that it's possible to heal. Again, watching the masterclass is your first step, your first step to achieving emotional mastery.